defense will uh, will help keep people from coming in and out uh, and having to come through the security security gate. Um, and so uh, that person, the security officer, is uh, requested that they let public health uh, know if and when anybody tries to leave the facility that has been placed into isolation and quarantine. Um, there, uh, we are currently ready for folks uh, now. We are currently uh, kind of, so to speak, open for business. However, we are working on improving the facility just a little bit more. We have a few things that we want to get done, so we're not planning on putting anybody there unless we absolutely have to. Until probably uh, next week sometime. All right. Uh, Jessica, do you want to just touch on sort of who's going to be there, operations, how we're going to be working with the folks who are in the facility? Hi there. Do you uh, transport? Yes, yeah, I think Christina can talk on who's going to be there at the facility. Um, I can just speak to how we're going to be working with the folks who are there. Um, they will be in contact via phone with our um, disease investigation staff from our communicable disease program, as well as our isolation quarantine coordinator, to make sure that all of their needs are met, that they have everything that they need um, to keep them happy and in their room. Um, I want a million dollars. And we are also going to be, um, in the coming days, adding some on-site medical staff as well. Christina, do you want to speak to facility staff? Uh, facility staff, yeah. Facility staff, there will, uh, we have one site operator. Uh, this is a smaller facility, so uh, we, we anticipate that one, one uh, site manager, site operator will be sufficient to um, help manage that, that piece. That person will not be in contact in any way, shape, or form with the guests in the isolation and quarantine. Um, they will be responsible for setting the rooms up um, after they have been, you know, cleaned for, you know, bio-cleaned or whatever. Um, so uh, we don't anticipate that that person will... Um, Nobody's yeah, that person that. shouldn't need any kind of contact. So typically, so generally, we'll only have on that site we'll have one one site operator and one security officer.